Let's now check out the Spectral Resonator audio effect in Ableton Live 11. I'm running this drum loop through the Spectral Resonator, though the dry wet is all the way down. As I increase this, you'll start to hear the Spectral Resonator effect. The tones that are being generated right now, you can transpose the fundamental pitch of that with this knob. We're adjusting it in Hertz, but it can also be set in semitone values here. This graph here shows us on the x-axis time, and on the y-axis the different frequencies, or specifically all the harmonics. I can choose to reduce the number of harmonics used to represent the sound. I can bring it all the way down to just one, which essentially just becomes a pure sine wave. The maximum is 256 individual sine waves. Going back here, we can stretch the spectrum, or those partials, so there's more gap in between each of the individual harmonics. And it kind of has that hollow square wave-like sound as we're missing all the odd harmonics. You can also stretch the other way. In other words, squish it in. So we're compressing all those harmonics. And eventually it gets to a point where we basically don't hear much of the sound at all. We can also shift the entire spectrum up or down in semitones. Though keep in mind this affects the input spectrum, not the spectrum that we are generating here. That's why the pitch doesn't really change. If you want to change the pitch, you have to adjust the frequency knob here. Now we can adjust the overall decay. If I increase this, despite the original sound not having as much decay, we're adding additional decay to those individual harmonics. It be a nice blend between the original and the processed sound. We can choose to dampen the high frequencies. And you notice that it's a time-based dampening. So it does affect the high frequencies over time. Same for the low frequencies. And then overall we can adjust the decay here. Next over here we can add some modulation to the sound. So standard chorus, adjust the rate, the amount of pitch modulation, maximum is 4 semitones. They have another mode here called Wander. Think of it like chorusing but with more randomization. And then finally there's this granular mode which completely transforms the sound. You get this really beautiful glassy-like tone. It would sound great running through a reverb. I'm adding reverb externally by the way, it's not coming from this effect. Alright, let's set this to none. Finally over here we have an input send option. So the signal going into the effect, you can tone it down makes it very very soft but you can also drive it further to make it louder there's also unison strange to see this on an audio effect typically you see something like this on a synthesizer so we have four unison layers of this particular sound and we can adjust the detuning it's amazing how it sounds like I'm adding reverb even though I'm not Let's mix this with a granular effect. All right.
right now currently the frequency that is being set is based on this knob over here but I can switch to MIDI mode and I can say let's take the MIDI from a separate track and use that MIDI information to transpose the signal. So I'm just playing different notes on my MIDI controller and that is transposing the spectrum. We can add some glide You can use pitch bend and you can set the pitch bend range all the way up to 24 semitones. I can turn on this MIDI gate mode so we don't hear the sound when I'm not playing on my keyboard. So it becomes more like a synthesizer. As soon as I play a note, we hear the sound. I let go and we stop hearing the sound. Let's switch to polyphonic mode so I can play chords now. So that is the all new Spectral Resonator. Stay tuned for more Ableton Live 11 tutorials.